Welcome to another Lessons with Lemon. Today is episode six of my beginner series, and we're going to talk all about short chip shots or flop shots, where you've got to get it up and over like a bunker, you're short sided, where the pin is really close by, you want to get it in the air and stop it close. Let's get started. I find myself in a common position on the golf course being short sided to the pin. And what short sided means is I don't have a whole lot of room between myself and where the pin is and a whole lot of green to work with. So I've got to get this shot, I want to get it in the air and stop it fairly quickly. And the other thing is I can't really bounce it up or anything like that because I've got this bunker that I need to go over with as well. Now the key is to make sure that you have the right club for the job. Now in my last video, we talked about long chip shots and I talked about not using a 60 degree wedge and how that was not the best play for that. Well today, the 60 degree wedge or a sand wedge, 56, 55, something like that, is actually the best play. So I've got my 60 degree wedge. Now when I set up to the shot, the first thing I wanna do is check the lie and see what kind of shot I'm gonna to have to hit. Now this particular lie, it's kind of fluffed up a little bit and I know that I'll be able to get the club underneath the ball fairly easily. Now, if the ball was lying down, maybe in a divot or in a hole or something like that, now that would change the type of shot that I would have to hit. But with this particular shot, I have a nice lie. And again, I don't have a whole lot of green to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a flop shot. Now to hit a flop shot, there's a couple keys that you need to work on. You wanna leave the club face slightly open. You want the ball position in the middle or a little bit towards the front of your stance because we'll be kind of swiping through the ball like this. And unlike the last video where we talked about hitting a nice low running pitch shot, we want to make sure that the club face is getting under the ball. And instead of the forward shaft lean, you're going to take away that a little bit and kind of get the, the club flipped under it a little bit where the club face kind of meets through the hands. Now you also have to know that you're going to be swinging a lot harder with this club to get it up in the air and get it to the hole. Something like that. Now, one of the keys to this shot, and I tell all my students, especially beginners, the key to this shot is we want the next shot to be on the green. We don't want to get too cute with this and try to hit, hit the ball where it lands just where the pin is. We want to make sure that we give it enough that we get it up on the green. Because the worst thing we could possibly do is leave it in the bunker or leave it short where we have another chip shot. So no matter what I do with this particular shot, I wanna make sure that I'm putting on the green. Ideally, I landed a little bit short of where the pin is and it rolls close, but that's ideal. In reality, and especially if you're a beginner, I want you to aim at the hole or a little bit past the hole when you're short sighted in this situation to make sure that you get your next shot on the green because trust me hitting another shot out of the bunker or another chip shot is going to be much more difficult than if you've got to hit a long putt even a 30 or 40 foot putt is a much easier shot than a short chip shot again or a, or a bunker shot so make sure that no matter what type of shot you're trying to hit on this that you're going to get it on the green and that's the easiest shot for you to hit so if you're not comfortable doing a flop shot where we're getting the club face past your hands and getting the ball in the air. If you haven't practiced that enough or if you're not confident with that shot, I'm totally fine with you doing, keeping your hands forward and doing kind of a chip shot where it doesn't go quite as high. And also, if you're not comfortable hitting a 60 degree wedge or if you don't have one and you need to hit a 56 or a 52 or something like that that you're more comfortable with, I'm completely fine with that but the key is let's get this shot on the green and give us a chance in a putt that's not another chip or another shot out of the bunker. <laughs> that's the perfect example of what can happen. I didn't hit the first one hard enough and I ended up short of the green and I've got another chip shot and actually a pretty difficult chip shot. It's on the uphill, but still, I'm still short sighted. Now the next one, it looked like it wasn't the best chip shot. I hit a little harder, but I made sure I got it on the green. 
And you tell me, which would you rather have, chipping again, or would you rather have that putt from about 20 feet left for par? So a quick review, make sure that your lie is good enough that, that basically the ball is up off the ground a little bit, that you'll be able to get the club underneath the ball. Check that first. Make sure you're using a high lofted club, a 56 uh, to 60, 58, 62, something like that, a club like that. Make sure the ball is in the middle of your stance or slightly forward. And keep in mind, you're going to be taking a harder swing than you're used to hitting when you're doing kind of a shot of this of this length. And the other thing is to make sure that you're kind of open to the target because we're kind of going to be sliding the club under the ball. We're going to open the face a little bit and that'll get it up in the air even more. Something like that. Now this particular shot is extremely difficult. It's downwind, it's downhill, I've got almost no green to work with, and I put that one about 12 feet away, and that was actually a pretty good shot. Another key to a shot like this is to lower your expectations. Keep in mind, you've short-sighted yourself, and if you're able to get this up and down from here, you've done a great job. But keep in mind, from this particular spot, you are basically hitting like a trouble shot. And again, the key that I mentioned earlier is make sure that your next shot is on the green. And if you have to bail out and get it on to kind of the fat side of the green or play away from where the pin is, that's completely fine. So lower your expectations. Understand that this is probably going to be not that easy to get this up and down. And in fact, if you do get it up and down, you've done a great job. But keep in mind from this particular spot, I would expect that I'm gonna hit, it's gonna take me three shots to get to hold this out. And if I hole out in two, I've done a great job. So make sure you lower your expectations, understand what it's gonna to take to get this shot on the green and do everything you can to do that. And one more thing I wanted to mention before I end of this video, if you're not comfortable hitting a lob shot like that and you just wanna hit a nice little punch shot where it bounces into the hill and you have a really good chance of getting it up on the green, I'm completely fine with that. If you just wanna take a pitching wedge and do basically the same type of stance and shot that we did on my last video when we are doing a long chip shot, that's completely fine. Whatever you're comfortable with, don't try the fancy flop shot because they're, it's a low percentage shot. I mean, you've seen a couple that I've missed and I was actually even trying to do that. You may have thought that I was trying to show you what happens when you mess up, but actually I was trying to get it on the green. So it's not the easiest shot, but if you just wanna take a pitching wedge, put your feet forward, the ball back in your stance, making sure that you know that you're going to hit the ball first and do a chip shot like this, I'm totally fine with that. I'm completely fine with that. In fact, that turned out pretty well. Or if you wanted to take it even more conservative play, let's say the worst case scenario for you is in the bunker and you just don't want to be in the bunker. Well, you can do the same shot I just played and play it completely away from the hole to the a larger part and we barely have to clear the bunker, we can get it up by the front of the green, or we're not even going at the pin. So again, feet together, four ball behind you, make sure you hit the ball first, and just kind of chip it up there. So now I'm on the green, I have a putt, I've eliminated the difficulty of hitting over the bunker, I've eliminated the difficulty of hitting over this hill, and I've got myself a chance for par. So there's multiple ways to play this shot, the flop shot is definitely the most difficult, but the key here, boys and girls, is to make sure that you've made the best decision to make the easiest shot for you, so that way you end up on the green. I hope you enjoyed this Lessons with Lemon. Please like, subscribe, and comment below what you're working on your game or what you'd like to see in an upcoming Lessons with Lemon. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Have a great day here with Lemon. Step on a golf ball all over. Perfect stuff. Thanks for checking me out, guys. Check me out. Thanks for checking me out, guys. The short, difficult chip shot. I'm not sure what I was going to say here, but I'm sure it was going to be brilliant. Or what you'd like me to see. What you'd like me to see. Boy, that talking is hard. I think the, the wind's probably killing my mic, anyways.